Breast cancer has been considered as the most common type of cancer among the women and the most common cause for cancer deaths. Known and well-established risk factors for breast cancer include age, family history, the density of breast tissue, parity, overweight, alcohol intake, and genetic risk factors such as BRCA mutations. Another potential candidate is the gene that encodes the vitamin D receptor or VDR protein. Vitamin D receptor genes operated by vitamin D have important roles in the mammary gland through regulation of calcium transport during lactation, hormone differentiation, and milk production. The gene encoding VDR is known to contain a number of variations known as polymorphisms. Polymorphisms in both 3' and 5' regions of the gene have been identified, and they are variously associated with risk of certain diseases, including breast and prostatic carcinoma. The binding of 125-dihydroxyvitamin D to VDR regulates gene expression, inhibits cell proliferation, induces cell differentiation, promotes apoptosis, and decreases angiogenesis. It is possible that vitamin D plays a role in controlling normal breast cell growth and has the capacity to stop the growth of cancer cells in this location. This protective effect is believed to be largely supported by the chemopreventive actions of 125-hydroxyvitamin D, which is the bioactive form. Experimental, preclinical and ecological studies have shown that 125-dihydroxyvitamin D induces differentiation and apoptosis and inhibits cell proliferation and angiogenesis in normal and malignant breast cells. In human cell lines derived from normal breast tissue and in breast cancer cells, 125-dihydroxyvitamin D and other VDR agonists interfere with cell cycle arrest, differentiation and apoptosis, depending on autophagy, the particular type of cell, cellular microenvironment, and the activity of other signaling pathways. Particularly in healthy breast cells, calcitriol mediates inhibition of cell growth and differentiation through intervention with vitamin D receptor. A study done using mouse found that the highest level of 1-alpha-hydroxylase, which convert 25-hydroxyvitamin D to 125-dihydroxyvitamin D was found during pregnancy and lactation period in mouse mammary glands. And also they have found that 35 to 100 nanogram per milliliter of vitamin D inhibit the growth of human mammary epithelial cells. At higher concentrations, 25-hydroxyvitamin D protects breast epithelial cells against cell stressors, including hypoxia, serum deprivation, oxidative stress and apoptosis induction. 25-hydroxyvitamin D prevents the induction of preneoplastic lesions caused by chemical carcinogens. The majority of studies found a protective relationship between sufficient vitamin D status and lower risk of cancer. The evidence suggests that efforts to improve vitamin D status, for example by vitamin D supplementation, could reduce cancer incidence and mortality at low cost, with few or no adverse effects. Data linking vitamin D status to the development of breast cancer in the human population are still too inconsistent to form a basis for dietary recommendations. A level of 20 nanograms per milliliter to 50 nanograms per milliliter is considered adequate for healthy people. A level less than 12 nanograms per milliliter indicates vitamin D deficiency. But these values may vary from country to country or population to population, 